So today we're going to talk about lesson 2, 8, subtraction algorithms. This is the parent help video for grade 3 everyday math. We have a couple new vocabulary words in this lesson. Um, and all of these are talking about subtraction. All right, algorithms means ways to do subtraction, so subtraction algorithms. The first way we're going to talk about is the counting up method. So if I want to say, um, if for the counting up method, um, let's just use something simple, 40 minus 32 equals how many? I can count up from 32 to 40 and see how many is in between there. And I'd say 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and I would get 8. Okay, so I can just count up from the smallest number to the biggest number. That's how we do the counting up method. The trade first method, um, let's say I want to do... Um, um, let's see, a good one. Uh, 100, 110 minus 96. Okay, let's say I want to do that one. With the trade first method, I can't do 0 minus 6. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 10 here, and I'm going to trade it, all right, and get a 0 here. So I just traded 110, one of these for 10 ones, essentially. Okay, and I'm going to use base 10 blocks to kind of demonstrate that. Um, there. All right, so now I have 10 minus 6, and then 0 minus 9, so I can't do 0 minus 9, so I'm going to take... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 100, and then I'm going to trade it in for... For 10, for 10 longs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? And then I'm going to take one away, all right? So I have 10 longs here, and and so, oh, and then what I, I'm not going to take one of these away, I'm going to take the 100 away. I take the 100 away, and so then my answer to 110 minus 96 Okay, after I did all my trading, would be 10 minus 6 is 4, 10 minus 9 is 1, and my answer would be 14. Okay, so that's the trade first method, where you go through and you trade out um, everything that you're going to need to be trading um, in there. You trade it first. Okay, and um, the base 10 blocks are a great way to, to model, model this, because I can say, well, I have 110. Okay, and then I have 96. Okay, here you can see, you can model both of those numbers. Okay, so if you want to take 96 away from 110, how can you do that? All right, and and this is a great way to do it because look, you can just swap out or trade first um, the the flat for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So that's the same thing as 100 and then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10. And that's not neat, but it's there's 10 there. So it's the same thing. And if I take 96 of those away, look, now it's easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 90, right? Because these are all 10s. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just take those away, and I see how many I'm left with. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and so that's how we do it with base 10 blocks. And um, that is a skill we want kiddos to know. And as far as other skills we want them to know, we want them to be able to make an estimate. So we want them to say, well, 110 is close to, uh, 110 minus 96. 96 is close to 100. 110 minus 100 is going to be about 10. Okay, so that's what we call making a ballpark estimate. All right, we round to the nearest 10. This is already at the nearest 10. And this one, we round up to the nearest 10, which is also the nearest 100. 110 minus 100 equals 10. That's my estimate. This is my ballpark estimate. Okay, we want kids to be able to make estimates like this, 
and know whether or not they're close. Well, 10 is pretty close to 14, so this is a reasonable, this is a reasonable guess. It's a reasonable estimate. Um, we want kids to be able to do that. Um, we want them to be able to continue to use their basic facts to solve extended facts problems. Fact problems, and also, you know, to know their place value, to know that well, okay, if I have 110, this 100, this one here, it doesn't just equal one, okay? It equals 100, and this one here also does not equal one. This one equals 10. This zero, well, it equals zero, okay? Any spot that it's in, it equals zero. But the kids have to know the place value, especially if they're going to use the base 10 blocks. Um, or even be able to think about how to solve these problems. It's really going to be helpful. All right, as far as how you can help with this at home, um, anything to give kiddos practice with their subtraction, okay? Anything where they can be taking things away. Um, if you have this much money and you spend this much money, how much do you have left? Have them look at sales papers um, or, or through catalogs or on the Internet, even when you're right there with them for things they want for their birthday maybe and they have this much money and they take this much away how much will they have left um, those are some great ways to practice subtraction for sure okay so please be doing that at home uh, even just small things okay um, will be very helpful to them so this is lesson 2-8 subtraction algorithms the parent help video for grade 3 everyday math